So, of everybody that you met on the cast, of the main characters, who is the coolest? Who is your favorite? Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. back to Doug and Tara. We are having... We're just going to be talking about Game of Thrones today. Yeah, we're having a special Game of Thrones chat. Normally, we can't really get out everything we want to say because Ryan's there. Yeah, so we just thought we'd talk about things. We talk about some of our favorite episodes our and favorite some really moments. interesting things. Like, yeah. Like Battle of the Bastards. Battle of the Bastards. Is one of our favorites. Uh, bells. The, the Bells. Eight, C eight, eight, one, two, and three. We love uh, those. You know what sucks, though? What? We don't really have any knowledge on what really happened, you know? I, w I wish we had somebody that could, like... <laughs> Give us, like, know, background talk stories. Talk about it, Talk you know? about it. I know. It, it would just be cool. It would be cool. Whoa. Who's... Is this mine? Patty! Patty! Oh, my God! <laughs> hey! Just the person we were thinking oh about. Oh, my God! When did you get here? <laughs> Two hours ago? Ah! Before we started doing all this rehearsing stuff? Sure! <laughs> all right, well... Wait, you've been in here, you've been here for two hours? Yeah, you didn't see me, now. Is that him? How much drink did you have? <laughs> Is that it was creeping around the back bedroom? I, I want to put this down. So. Okay. okay. I want to take a seat. Slide over. Let him take a seat. Have a I want seat! Take off your jacket. Take have off your jacket. Seat. Slide up. Hey, good. everybody. Good. Hey, everybody. This is Patty Kelly. 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 Patrick J. Kelly. Patrick J. Kelly. Actor on Game of Thrones. Extraordinaire. Extraordinaire. I'm Actor Hawkins. extraordinaire. Who has uh, stories to tell. He literally grew up beyond the wall. Literally. Mm hmm Well, I was a Bolton first, but, you know. We don't, but you know. Oh, come I, on, I, man. I, I was out of work, you know. I needed a job. I was an archer, <laughs> and I was like, hey, I need some archer work. And the Boltons had, like, you know, vacancies. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. The oh, stacks were full. Yeah, yeah. So I applied for the Seemed Boltons. Seemed to be a popular show. I don't know. Yeah. The Boltons had some... Uh, uh, Vacancies, so I took the job, so I became archer leader in uh, Battle of the Bastards. So the for a better introduction, this is Patty Pat Patty Kelly. He was on Game of Thrones. Um, Battle of the Bastards. He was in Battle of the Bastards and season eight, season one, eight, two, three. Episodes one, two, and three, filming the long night. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. And before that, you were in Vikings. I did some work on Vikings too. Uh, on Vikings, I. Funny enough, they, I, I was either a Saxon monk, a French monk, or a pagan priest. A pagan Seem priest? A pagan priest, yeah. Seemingly, oh, seem religious thing. Yeah, right? seemingly they thought I had an angelic face. I don't know why. You know? I don't know. Was, Maybe you looked a little... I was a man of the cloth, so... You, you know, know, I've seen a lot of people play religious figures, and they kind of look like you. There you go. You know, I didn't have to do the whole bald thing at the top, because I'm more of the balds, but I did it. Yeah. yeah. So on on Vikings and Game of Thrones. Yeah. All right. So we have him here. We're gonna tell some stories. We're gonna ask some questions. We're, We're gonna, gonna look at some episodes. Some clips of episodes. Clips. Clips. Yeah. And we couldn't have Ryan here because obviously he's not far enough to hear any of this conversation. And he's Spoiler really alert. he's really pissed that he can't be here too. He's like really not happy. Spoiler alert. Well, he yeah. can watch all of it. When he gets later, there. later, he can when he get gets there, there after the yeah. season's ended. Later. All yeah. right. So. So. Well, normally we go. Let's go. Let's go. go. <laughs> no wait. Let's no. go. go. So you want me to tell us some stories? Yes. yes. Start us off with a story. Oh, okay. So let's start with Battle of the Bastards. Okay. Yes, right. definitely. Our everyone's favorite. Yeah. So, uh, in. In the meantime, before this, uh, so I was, as I said, I was on Vikings, uh -huh. you know, right. doing, doing stuff. But the, the casting call came out for this speak episode for Battle of the Bastards, and they were looking for people to 
you know, whatever. That was going to be one of my questions. How'd you find this? Oh, so this is this is how yeah. it's, I heard it through the grapevine. As I heard it through the grapevine. <laughs> yeah, actually, tell you a story. So, uh, I filled up when I was filling up the application for Battle of the Bastards. You know, they 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 fill up. You know, what horse riding? Can you do horse riding? Can you do this? Can you do that? Yeah. And, and I seen archery. Nobody knows this, so this is like the first time I'm telling you. <laughs> but I don't care because it's finished now. But anyway, so uh, so I filled in the thing for everything and archery, right? So I got the call. Hey, can you come up to Belfast to do like like a kind of like a workout, kind of like a test, you know, to sure. see what you're able for? I'm like, sure, yeah, no problem. So took the bus up to Belfast. I went and the Titanic Studios. Signed myself right. in. Big Titanic Studios. Right Titanic Studios. So I myself in and they said, okay, so uh, Paddy, we're going to put you in for archery. Is that okay? Sure, no problem. Yeah, no problem. I can do Done that. Done it all my life. So, yeah, no problem. I can do that. So He grew up on the wall. A group, of, a group of us were all brought to the, the some part of the back studio where the armory is, right? Tommy was there. Tommy was in charge of armory, so he was watching now. But Hey, Tommy. So Tommy's yeah. in charge of armory. So he was there. So it was a big long queue. And what they were doing was they were just giving people the, the long bow, one arrow. It was like, like instead of kind of like a closed area, just, you know, knock the arrow, mm -hmm. do your draw, thing. and loose into the into the target that they had at the end of the target range. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm in the queue and I'm watching, you know, what Tommy is saying to the other people, you know, okay, you need to bring your... When you're when you're drawing the bow, when we're drawing the bow, you have to draw the bow and lift the arrow at the same time. So it's not like you don't lift it and then pull, yeah. right? What and you don't you and you don't pull and then lift. Right. It's like one smooth action. It's like at the same time, it all all has to go at the same time. I like mean, this. that's how Pocahontas. No, not Pocahontas. <laughs> there's some there's some Disney princess I'm thinking of. Poca who? Who? Disney? Poca fucking who? I'm sorry, what the guys. fuck? Please go on. So anyway. <laughs> So I'm watching this, and of course on, on the on the, the flight of the arrow, there's two, there's one, there's one off color. There's, so there's two black, like on the both of theirs, there's two black feathers, and then there's one white feather. Right. And it's to give you direction of where that little groove is in the arrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the top of the arrow, where where it knocks into the into the bowstring, right? Yeah. So I was watching this, you know what was going on. Probably was saying, no, you need to turn to make sure that this feather. White feather is out here, so that way it's gonna knock into the bow, into right. the bowstring. Right, 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 right. Okay, so then the next person, Tommy was saying to the next person, "No, you need to pull the bow and pull the pull the uh, the bowstring and lift your arrow at the same time." So it's like one smooth motion. This right? whole time, good thing you didn't go down. first. I'm watching this, but anyway, it's getting nearer to me, right? And I'm like, <laughs> so I always been down. Now it's time my shoelace. So I said, "Oh no, you can go ahead." I'm just. <laughs> You, you go ahead, you go ahead. So I'm letting the other people go ahead because I'm watching everything, yeah. right? Mm. And of course, then another fellow was like, he, Tommy was like, okay, knock the ball, or knock your, knock your arrow, knock your arrow, okay, draw, you draw, and next thing, you let it go. And Tommy said, did I tell you to fucking loose? I never said loose. Ooh. Ooh. And I'm like, okay, you know, I'm like, so anyway, they're going through all the, I'm, I'm just watching everything, taking everything in. Oh, so, so I'm watching Tommy doing all this with the other people, right? And then it comes to me. I'm watching, I'm taking in everything. So Tommy said, uh, all right, Paddy, you're next. Cool. Okay. So there's your, there's your long bow. Thank you, sir. I'm holding it at 45 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> there's your arrow. Thank you, sir. I'm holding it in my hand. Because I'm waiting for the order. <laughs> he says, okay, knock your arrow. I knock my arrow. And I'm holding it like this. I'm not doing anything until I hear the order. Because <laughs> I've been watching everything. And he goes, okay, draw. And I draw. The swift motion. And I'm holding. And I'm waiting for the order. And he goes, loose. As soon as I loose, I bring my, old, my ball back to 45. And he goes, Perfect. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. The funny thing is, although I had filled up the application form for archery, that was the first time I shot a fucking. <laughs> that was the first time I shot a bow. Is that right? Yeah. So, uh, so that was that was that. So then, the, about a week later, someone got called back. I got a call. Hey, so, Paddy, so we need you. We're, you're going to be both an archer. Cool. So, uh, 
for Bar the Bastards, the week before, we were like a week, I think, we, or no, actually, I think we were two or three weeks rehearsing in Titanic Studios because the Boltons had to be army, so we had to learn marches and stuff like that. The Wildings didn't have to do any of that because they can do whatever the fuck they want. Right. You know, they they're run wild. wild. They're Wildings. They can do whatever. They don't need yeah. to know all this. Yeah. But we were we were rehearsing for weeks in Titanic Studios, marches and standing and getting into line and getting the formation and stuff like that. So, and then when we got to filming, it was like three, I think we were three weeks filming Bad the Bastards. Mm -hmm. Two, three weeks, two, two, I think it was a week or two weeks rehearsing and three weeks filming. And as far as I know, I think it was nine and a half million pounds sterling. Just I don't know what that is. Nine and a half million pounds. Sterling. Sterling. Uh, in, in American dollars? Let's ask Google. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're yeah. going to ask Google. What is nine and a half million pounds sterling in US dollars? Oh, I didn't just answer it immediately. And no, I didn't. <laughs> Where's my phone? Convert British pounds to US dollars. Okay. Nine and a half. Uh, let's let's try that again. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'm going to ask Google. Okay, Google. What is nine and a half million pounds sterling in U.S. dollars? Your phone's mobile data is turned off, so I can't help you. <laughs> I'm sorry, we don't understand Irish accents. That's an English accent, actually. English accent. Like English accent. I'm not that because I haven't got the Wi-Fi. So you're from right? England. We just talked about this. He's from beyond. You know Hall. that is what that is the biggest. You can cut this out after. That is the biggest insult you can tell an Irish man oh, to say you're from English. So you're yeah. Irish, I'm but Irish. why did you say you have an English accent? No, I said she has an English accent. Oh, okay, I misunderstood. I will say, I, none of that's getting cut. I at least knew that. That's something I learned from my neighbors. Anyway, nine and a half million pounds there. It's a lot of money. A lot of money. Let's just say it's nine and a half million dollars. Okay. I think it's a lot more than that. Uh, maybe. maybe. Okay, right. it's a lot of money. I'm going to put up a text that says how much it is. Did I see... I thought I seen somewhere... A fan. Do you have a fan? A fan? Are you hot? I'm fucking sorry. Oh, shit! Let he me just... turns it off because it makes noise. That's okay. We can Ooh, deal with it. I'm sweaty. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I got a fan, Kim, but I'll turn on the AC. All right. That bald head. Is that bald or you shave? It's bald, but I shave it. <laughs> okay. Does that make sense? Well, yeah. Okay, no last I'm I'm getting bald back here, and I told myself like 30 <laughs> years ago, if I ever start getting a bald spot, I'm just gonna shave my head. But then I started getting a bald spot. I'm like, I ain't shaving my fucking head. I got too much hair. I'm still. going bald too. How old are you? You never ask a gentleman his age. No, that's a woman. No, it's I said you never ask a gentleman his age. Okay, I'm glad. How old do you think I am? Uh, 47. 28. I like you better than him. I know. Anyway, so that was the... That was how the, old are you? That was the, Dad! I'm going to tell you how old I am. I don't care how old you are. Fucking what, you're going to say you're real age and he's going to be like, I'm 39. So, getting back... I'm let's, gonna let's, be like let's, I'm thirty let's, years older. Let's get back to stories. Yes, of Star Wars. Oh, yes. Stories. Please. Stories. Okay. So, <clears throat> so that was the beginning of of Battle of the Bastards. Right. right. So I got called, and then the, we, we were rehearsing, and then the week after we were brought into filming. We had to meet in Titanic Studios. Our call time was fucking crazy. We had to meet like. At 5 a.m. in the morning at Titanic Studios, I get on the coach and then we're brought to location. And actually, by the, the, the bar, where the basketball was a different place than, than where the Castle of Winterfell is. But then we're brought to location. So we're brought to location, like they have just, it's like they took over some farmers' fields, like acres and acres of fields. They have marquees set up here for this, marquees for hair and makeup, and marquee for costume marquee for food and they had stables set up over here for horses and stunts and armory and it's yeah, fucking it's a huge, lot. Huge, it's huge, huge huge it really is huge so we arrive on we arrive on set we go to 
costume. We get the costume. Then we go to armory. No, sorry. We go to hair and makeup first. Then, whatever. I didn't need to go to hair. <laughs> hair and makeup. I had to go to makeup. Uh, once we got that done, and then we were just sitting around. Or we had to go to armory and pick up right. our swords and of our arrows, quiver stuff. And then we would hang out there Get in the ready marquee. For battle. We're drinking, having breakfast and stuff like breakfast and bacon and sausage, yeah, anything you want, you know. Sure. So we 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 have this. We have this all this all this ready. This is our first day in set. And then we're all told. Everyone's told. Okay, one of the links. I will go over there and. Other people, stunts go over there. Okay, all archers, Bolton archers, uh, we were all standing in the corner of the field, right? So, this guy comes out, he, he's he's uh, ex British military and he's in charge of okay. the Bolton side. Of course. Of course, he remembers my name because my name is Paddy and he being English, <laughs> you know, he remembers my name and he's like, comes over to the archers, he says, uh, where, uh, Where's Paddy? Of course, I'm at the back. I started sneaking around the back. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like hiding around the back, you know, like this, you know. And he he says, uh, he says, uh, where's Paddy? And of course, the guys separate. And it, uh, here he is, uh, Paddy, come here, front and center. I'm like, yeah. He says, okay, you're an archer leader. I'm like, oh, God damn it, really? You know, what? That's so cool. No, but that means I have to give all my friends. I have to give them orders. Oh, and stuff. I, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want that responsibility. Oh. But anyway. So I'm like, okay. So he says, well, I need your fucking group here or there or whatever. You need to get them there. And you need to make sure that they're all in line and they do all this. And I'm like, oh. This is fuck. all your fault because you did so well. Fuck yeah. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So everyone's ready and we're all being marched off and we're all brought down to the bastard bowl where you see that big battle going on about the bastards. Mm -hmm. So like, it's all green, like Ireland's most beautiful country in the world I want to so go so badly but we're all brought down we're all walking down this kind of like laneway and then we come up over this hill and as soon as we come up over this hill it's like whoa it's a different world because there's fucking snow everywhere oh, oh I bet holy shit you know like the snow uh, is just it's, all it is is white mulched paper that's all it is it's just white paper and there's people going around with bags of this stuff spraying it everywhere and then this machine the trucks go around with big machines in the back and they're spraying all the trees and yeah like even though it was warm as soon as you walk it into cold. it we like we just felt cold <laughs> it, it would just make you feel cold because it's like fucking snow everywhere it's like fucking winter yeah it was like winter has come we're like holy shit like this is crazy winter has come yeah winter oh we cheers we Whenever cheer every time that. somebody oh. says that oh. Part of oh, it. you do? Yes. Yeah. You drink every time. Every yes. time somebody says winter is come. Drink. Winter has come. Um, oh shit! You got to do it again. Oh, <laughs> rats! Winter has come. I have a question. All right, you can't keep doing that. I'm Irish. <laughs> winter has come. No, no. Come on. Winter has come. Yeah. One more time. You can't say it. One Winter has come. <laughs> I didn't hear that. Winter has come. Is, do you hear something? <laughs> oh, God. Last one. I We're be, gonna I, get, I, we need to finish this. I Stop. Been, hold on, wait, wait, wait. The whole rest wait, of the episode wait, wait. is just, just drinking. Winter has come. Wait, wait, wait. Winter has come. Wait, I have a feeling this is going to be a long night. <laughs> it's okay. I, 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 I'm sure our fans will love it. I have some questions. Winter has come. That's not the answer to the question. I thought, I thought you were going to answer asking, "Has winter come?" And I was going to say, no. "Winter has come." Well, oh, wait, hold on, shit! I said it you again. You never even let me ask. I said it like four times. You never even let me ask my question. All right, go on. Just get out the bottle. We'll do shots. So, when does she summer come? She forgot her question. What? When? When does summer come? What happens if I say summer has come? We do nothing. shots? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, nothing. 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 I fucked that. Okay. I, nothing. I do have a real question though. Okay, so you said you fought for the Boltons, right? Yes. So. I was, was a... Bolton on the Bolton and Archer and 
Please don't hold that against me. I mean, it's like we're not gonna. No hold one's it. that petty. I hope you be nice, guys. Um. So as a Bolton in the bat- Battle of the Bastards, mm-hmm. so there's this one particular scene that honestly always just made me feel uncomfortable and like suffocated when they're all surrounding them. Oh. Like, I, I start to feel that uneasy the, just watching that. So you yeah. were in that because yeah. you were a Bolton, right? Yeah, that was, that was the pincer. We were doing how, the pincer. Do you know maybe how the Starks and the Wildlings felt? Because, like, they're, in my mind, there's just no way that wouldn't be, like, a difficult scene to do. There is just everybody. It it, it makes me... Un, it, them fucking shields. You know them shields? The yeah, the big they're, ones. They're fucking heavy. Uh, they are really heavy. Now, lucky I didn't have to carry one because right. like, I was an archer. But as soon as they, as soon as we did the whole after that scene, right? That scene where where Rick on yeah. couldn't You're right couldn't do that, and he got and when he was going, and we were going, and but, you shot the arrow. The, no. Yeah, but anyway, so. So when we, as the archers, when we did, did fought the, when we uh, um, shot the arrows, we went run around the back, and then the cavalry ran, and then the army. Uh, the, we came in last, but the, the, the fellas carrying the shields, they had, a, they, had a, they looked they, heavy. They were heavy. They were heavy. Fuck me, they were really fucking heavy. But I remember one guy, Funny. Peter. Peter Rooney, a good friend of mine. He's Peter! From, Peter Rooney! He's from Scotland. Ah, uh, uh, we won't hold that again. No, no, we're Celtic. The Scots and the Irish were Celtic cousins. Okay, all right. You know? all right. So, but Peter, I remember Peter one time. So we're doing that pincer movement, going around the circle. Right. And, you know, we'd, we'd, we'd shoot a scene and then it's like, cut, and then we'd have to start back from, we'd right. have to go back to one and start right. again. But anyway, at one time, I had met Peter walking back to one and he's like missing a boot i said yeah, what the fuck the fuck he said yeah <laughs> Dur- during the whole pincer moving because it, it got muddy like during at the beginning it the, was muddy so in you, the sh- yeah shots. so in the, in the first week you can imagine where we're just doing the filming the, like the first maybe 10 minutes of uh, that episode yeah. yeah so that's like a week or whatever oh, yeah I know. so the second week like we've done the charge and now we're in the pincer moving so right. that is like the, <sighs> There's a lot of guys there and crew and whatever and we're all and it's starting to get muddy. Uh-huh. It's starting to get real it's, slushy. It's slushy bro. and muddy and swampy. But Peter, I met Peter and Peter's coming back with like one boot. I, <laughs> it got stuck. I said, Peter, what the fuck? He said, yeah, during that pincer move, I lost the boot, but I couldn't stop because we have to keep going because it's like, you can't stop. It's yeah, like it's action. Like- Action. So he's going back and he's going back looking through the mud to see where he, his boot came off and his sock and everything. Like he's in his one foot, he's got a boot on and his oh. bare feet in the other one. And he had to walk back, he trace his steps and go back, look for his boot and look for his boot. So, Peter, Peter, fair play to you. You know, you, you, you did it. You kept going. We you didn't feel stop. Good for you, Peter. Good for you, Peter. You I are a trooper. Okay. So, of everybody that you met on the cast, of the main characters, who is the coolest? Who is your favorite? Winter is coming. Oh my gosh! You can, you can take a drink without saying that. You don't have. Oh, to I say thought it was a thing. It, it is, is a thing. thing. It is now. But you can drink. It you is can, now. You can drink without saying it. The nicest. I have to say, the nicest person. That's a good question, by the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's an internal joke. Uh, <laughs> The <coughs> nicest person I have. Who, who would you think it is? Who would you think it is? I would have guessed. You never met Joffrey. No, because I heard Joffrey. he was yeah, a he's sunshine really nice guy. guy. And, and, and I hear that Tywin was the most like his character. His character. But did you meet Tywin? No, you no. never met okay. Tywin. He was so dead. I'm just saying this because secretly I have a crush on the actor. But was it Ramsay? No. Oh. Hey, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Ramsey, uh, the actor Ewan that plays Ramsey, he, believe it or not, he's the nicest person I have ever met and said. I and, know it's I know it's very hard to understand. And looking he at him. played with my heart. He said he had him on his phone and he was going to call him. And I said, do it. And he was like, I don't have him. And it broke my heart. She almost came in her pants. 
That's a really weird thing to say about your daughter. Yeah, it is. It wait, is, we can, we can cut that know, out. I can cut that out, yeah. but I might not. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so to tell you one of the stories. So you remember when we're, the part when he says, uh, he says to Rick and he's just like, there is your brother. Go run to him. You have to run to him. And he's like, those are the rules. You've got to run. Those are the rules. Those, those are, are the rules. rules. Those are the rules. Yes. You've, you've got to run. Uh -huh. So we were shooting that scene like all oh, fucking day. Well, you know? the kid had to run so much. We were shooting that scene all day. So you anyway, know the rules. So anyway, we, we had this thing, uh, the whole group, I would shout, who owns the north? And no matter what we were doing, we could be like sitting down, having a smoke. But as soon right. as someone sees that, he heard that, it was like, we do! <laughs> you know, it was just a, it was an automatic reaction. Right, yeah. right, right. You know? That's so, so cool. but, but the director, like we would be shouting this and then the ADs, the assistant directors, sometimes at the beginning, they would sometimes, shh, shh, shh. but the other director, the Miguel, the actual directors told right. me, no, 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 let them do it because it's sending some rivalry down the line, down to the wind. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like, let them shout it. Did it's... they do anything else to like help keep the rivalry alive so when they were filming it yes. was more? Yes, so at the beginning, before the actual, when the, before the battle came together, so during, say, like lunch breaks or any kind of breaks, the ADs, the assistant directors, were given strict orders to keep everyone apart. Everyone had to, you know, Keep the bolters there. Keep the what? Because I I knew most of the railings. Because I from Cause work, he grew up beyond the wall. Uh, from working on Vikings, I knew most of them that are, yeah. that are on uh, railings were like Vikings. Uh, oh shit! On Vikings. So I knew most of them, and I think Miguel knew this, and he knew that everyone was friends, but he right. didn't want that friendship to come in filming. Right. Yeah. So and that's uh, like when we were lunch break came and like okay, we lunch was brought to us and keep them up there. Keep them and keep them separated. So when we were shouting, "Who owns the north? We do!" It's like, yeah. Keep it go because it was setting some stuff. And then the whalings that start, Roar! and then we go, <laughs> "Fuck you! And Fuck you too!" And like it kept that out, kept the tension, you know, kept that thing going, you know. So um, we've talked a lot about Battle of the Bastards. Wait, I haven't finished. I am so sorry. Yeah, you cut them off I'm there. So Talking about Ewan. So that Rickon thing, you know, where those are the rules, right? right? So a, a time came when there was a break or a lunch break or some different setup, and Ewan went back to his, Ramsey went back to his tent to sit down and relax and have his drink. So I said to the lads, I said, okay, when, when Ewan comes back out, I'm going to shout, who owns the north? And you shout, we do. And then I'm going to shout, and remember, and then you're all going to shout, those are the rules, right? And they're like, yeah, 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 that's cool. So we're there, we're waiting. Next thing I see, I see Ewan coming out and he's going, okay, we're going for take. And Ewan's coming out and he's like walking, like he's walking through us, he's walking, he's walking past us. Yeah. Right? And I was like, that's ready. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. So I was like, who owns the art? We do. I remember. Those are the rules. And Ewan was like walking. And as soon as you hear it, he went, what the fuck, lads? <laughs> What the fuck? And he was like, what the fuck's going on? But he, he like, he, he, he really, he really, like, he loved it and he, he thought it was, like, just great for him. That's just, awesome. It's yeah, great. Yeah, it was really good. Um, Fun. Yeah, it was really good, so. But he, definitely, he was the nicest, one of the nicest Who people the ever. Who's the second nicest? Uh, Kit. I was about to say, please tell me Kit Third was nice. nicest. <laughs> We're going to go through our top five. Oh, a top five. Oh, my God. Um, and, yeah, once we Let's get... Let's just go with three. Okay. Okay, so... Third. Peter. Yes! Tyrion. Yes! Tyrion. Oh, yeah. That's everything I he's wanted He's so to cool. Hear. Yeah, he's really cool. He's really nice. That yeah. brings me to some of my next questions. Oh. We've talked a lot about Battle of the Bastards. Mm -hmm. I would love to hear about some of the, the Long Night... Just any part of season eight, really. What what was your role in in the season eight? So area? in season eight, I was a Stark archer. No! Oh. Woo! Stark boss. Yeah. 
Well, obviously I was out of work. Ramsey was gone. Yeah. I, I, I was an unemployed archer. I'm like... And an un I, unemployed warrior. Unemployed archer. Archer. Longbow archer. I was an okay. unemployed archer. I'm like... I'm like roaming through the, you know, the fields of Winterfell. I'm thinking, where can I get some employment? And there on this tree, the there on this tree was this like vacancy... You know, no way. Vacancy for I gotta archers. I got to move to fucking Ireland. Vacancy for archers at Winterfell. You think I could get a job as a fucking badass? And I'm like, I'm, I'm reading this. I'm going, oh, please email archery at winterfell.com. I'm like, okay, I'll play for this. And I got an interview. And I'm like, hey, hey, I got a job at a Winterfell as an archer. <laughs> so tell me about, uh, like, you did the first three episodes of season eight, right? Yeah. So Was I there a particular episode you liked the most? I didn't mean to in, cut you off. I, any, I started in, that before I realized you were starting to talk. Uh, any particular episode in any, any, yeah, yeah, any yeah. episode? Or? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Except any season episode. eight, because you did three, right? We filmed one, two, one, two, and, one three. two, and three of season eight, yeah. Did you have a favorite season eight episode that you filmed? Do I have a favorite season eight episode? Yeah. It would have to be three. The long night, right? Yeah. Yeah. It'd be three. Funny you should say that, right? So on on actually when season three was being filmed, I was actually gonna be in New York on holidays, vacation at oh. the time, right? And there was a bar in New York, I can't remember the name of it now, but they were like, Hey, so you're gonna be there. Do you wanna it was a bar it was a Game of Thrones bar. It was a bar that showed Game of That's Thrones. A Game of Thrones bar? Yes. Well, well it was it, well it was a bar that showed Is it that it was a bar that showed Burlington Bar? The Burlington the, Bar. Uh, no, that's no, that's the, that's in Chicago. That's, that's not in New York. I don't know where it that's is. Not in no, New no, York. that's no, there was a bar in New York that showed Game of Thrones. Right, and right. Everyone went to this bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it watched Game of Thrones. There, I yeah. wish we had so, fucking been in the Game of Thrones. But anyway. So they were like, "Hey, so you're going to be here. Do you want to come and be like special guest? We're going to have a trivia and then we're going to show episode three, uh -huh. and you can be like hang out, and the bear tab is on us, and food or whatever. Say no more. And I'm like, eh, you had me a bear tab. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I and I actually I actually was emailing and I said, do you have cider? And he's like, no, so I don't have cider. I said, ah, uh, uh, can't make it, can't make it. But he said, we well, get it into you. Ah, uh, I'll be there. Uh, I'll be there. Cool. So. I arrived that the, the night of episode three, and of course there was a few people. It was advertised on social media and stuff like that, and a few people had contacted me through to us. But, hey, can't wait to meet you, you know, in Aww. New York. And, you know, Mr. It's, Star yeah. over here. So I, actually, here's the thing. So the, there was a trivia thing beforehand. I think the trivia was from eight to nine, and then the, the then it was nine. To, I, I can't remember what the hours was, but the trivia right, was right. on before Game of Thrones. So the quiz master asked me, uh, can you send me a question to put into the trivia? And yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, sure, okay, no problem. So I came up with a great question for the trivia that when I gave it to her, she looked at it and goes, oh. now she was a real Game of Thrones fan, but she looked at him and went, oh, Paddy, you're a bastard. I'm like, yeah, no. And the question was And here's the question. So here's the question. Let's see if we can get it. Yeah, let's see. Let's 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 so spotlight. Drum roll. Right on. Drum roll. So the question is, this is the question that I gave. Now before I start Okay. So there was people in the bar at the at the bar, sitting down on little tables and whatever, and then there was people at the back where the big screen was, and they were the big knobs. They were the big Tronies. Okay. They were all okay. out the back, right? Okay, I'm so scared. Now. So when my question came up, <laughs> when my question came up, I kind of like walked out that direction to see how these tronies were going to figure this out. Uh -huh. The big knobs. Yeah. And I'm so so the question came up, and so the quiz master is there, like, so uh, the next question is from Patrick J. Kelly, as you all know, is here as a special guest, and it's a Game of Thrones question. So here is the question. Brianna of Tar. I know her. Our favorite. One of our favorites. Wait. I said Tully. Got it. Brianna, this is the question. Brianna of Tar 
is from the island of Tar. Uh -huh. But what is her surname? Her surname? Her surname. What is her surname? Holly? I fail. I have no She's idea. Holly. I have no idea. Brienne. Brienne of Tar is from the island oh. of Tar. What her is her surname? But she's not a... Tully. Brianne of Tar is from the island of Tar. What is her surname? But what is her surname? So anyway, while you're thinking about okay. that, I'm out the back. And the question comes across, right? Just before I go out the back, they're like on the question number eight. And I'm like out there and I'm waiting for question number nine. And whatever question number eight was, right. before the quiz master even finished it, they were like, ah! I got this. And they were like writing down the like writing down the answer, right? My question came up and they were like Ooh. They were just like you two. They were like ah! <laughs> What the fuck? You know? And I'm like, oh Ha 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 Did I get you? Yes. Are you stumped? And I stumped. And they were like oh. And I'm like, okay. See you later. And I'm going to go back out to the bar. I went back out to my table. Well, okay, well, what's the Let's fucking see. answer? The answer is in the question. Her name is Brianne Tar. Tar. Because the, the, the island it's owned from, the, her, her father is Selwyn Tar. Yes, Selwyn Tar. Selwyn Tar. So her surname is Tar. Brianne Tar. Brianne Tar. It's just the way the question is said. Right, Brianna right. Tard is from the island of Tard. But what is her surname? And I'm like, what? Hold on, wait, she's got a surname? It's like... Can anyone say Tully? Am I not alone? I don't know. Brianna Tully? No, well, no, she's not. Oh, no, that's Sam. So anyway, you know yeah, Sam. you're thinking of the wrong one. So anyway, uh, when I went back out to the other people, the, the big knobs, I yeah. said... Uh, so did you get it? Yeah, we got it. Just in the, just at the end, they did. Get, they actually won, but they said we. Yeah, we got it. Just at the end, but no one else got it. And I thought that was a great fucking question. It was just the way it was said. That's awesome. But anyway, let's see uh, a couple episodes. Uh, let's watch some episodes. Yeah, let's <laughs> watch some. Uh, you wanna watch some clips? Clips. Yeah. Okay, what are we gonna watch? Uh, I, something from Battle of the Bad. Let's, I, let's, I tell you what, what, let's... Can I ask a couple more questions? Yes, of course. Uh, okay. So you were, uh, about the long <laughs> that night, I, I just want to hear... That was tentative. Okay, so we're going to hold off with the episodes, because she's got more questions. She's got more questions. I just want to know some more about the long night. Okay. That's a fair... It's a fair question. Wonder it's a fair... and want to know. Go ahead. So the long night. How long did that take to shoot? Oh my God, that was a long time. Um, I think we were three months filming that. Three months. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you were I, a long. star. Right? I can't remember. It was a long time ago, and of course, it was all night shoots. How How is the wildling? Or not the wildlings. The the walkers. The walkers. The whites. The whites. The whites. That's what they're called. Yeah. The how is like. So here's a funny story. So remember I said we had marquees. Did you? Oh, sorry. I just... Remember I said we had marquees like the armory, hair makeup, and then there was a kind of a holding area, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we're all we're all in this holding area, like this, mm -hmm. like Starks, Wildlings. We're all this. We're drinking tea, and we're ready to be called on set. Yeah. So next thing, hair and makeup comes in and clears out like a corner. Okay, you got to move. You got to move. And we're bringing in tables and chairs, right? Uh, next thing, the people who are playing the whites walk in. Like, they've got the crush, but they don't have the mask on. But they're coming, right. Right? So they come in and like they're sitting down. And, like Everyone else is like sitting around just watching. Because it's, it's a normal thing. Every, people yeah. are yeah, 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 make up, they're yeah. just doing stuff, they're whatever. So one of the whites gets his, gets his mask on, right? And gets his face tucked in. And he gets his tucked in, in and get his, get his eyes fixed. So there's a fucking there's a white. There's a white. It's, it's, it's like sitting there, and we're like, "Holy shit, this is all cooking and kill, right?" And of course, we're all just sitting there looking at this. So what he did was, right? Yeah, this is this is this is the true story. He stood up, off his chair, like this, 
And he looked at every one of us sitting around watch and he goes <laughs> Like this. That's so funny. What did we all do? Did stood you up. Guys? We all stood up. Cause we knew what we knew what was going on. We knew the signal. We knew what. Like, yeah. yeah. And as soon, of course, we knew. As, as soon as we did that, everyone just like <laughs> everyone started clapping. Like, that was brilliant, you know. That was just a private thing, just the most. Of it. But it was, it was so, so cool. Funny. You had to be there, you know. It was just, yeah, it was just, I bet it was great. It was so cool. It was really good. Did you ever die? No. No. No, not I, yet. I, I did not. It was a long night. I, I did. Because like, we're archers. As soon as we. Shut that stuff. We got the fuck out of there and let let, let the real the fighting. Begin. Yeah, yeah.